Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some Bug Fables, The Everlasting Sapling. I love this game. <laughs> uh, last time we made our way through the Golden Path to reach the Golden Settlement. Uh, if I bring up the map, we have a quick look. There's the Golden Path, we made our way from Bulgaria outskirts through the Golden Path to the Golden Settlement, which is where we are now. This farming settlement produces much of Bulgaria's food and dyes. A festival for the goddess Venus is held here every few moons, which attracts tourists from all over the land. Um, you may be able to guess from the fact that that's mentioned that we are going to attend that festival, because this is a role-playing game and that's what happens. <laughs> uh, hang on, I just need to clear my throat momentarily. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, just muted the mic. Simple. Uh, let's tattle on this area. We can kind of see the hype behind the Golden Settlement. I know, right? It's such a good place to visit. On top of its beauty, the settlement provides many items this region needs. Beautiful and useful. We have a high respect for this place. Hello. Hey, you look thirsty. You wouldn't care for some sweet berry juice made right here in the Golden Settlement. It's just nine berries. Pretty please? Yeah, no thank you. Oh, alrighty. Come back when you need to quench your throats. Hey guys. What? How do you think she walks? That looks heavy. V, there are things you must never ask. Oh, alright. I mean, these also got like a an abdomen situation going on herself. I think she can probably figure it out. <laughs> da, 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 da. I love the music in this game. It's just really, really good. Uh, here's a shop. Uh, as you can see, the storage ant is here, so we can store things if we so desire. Hello. Hello, welcome to the Golden Emporium, Golden Hill's best general supply store. What can I help you with? Uh, interesting note here. Sorry, I'm not interested in buying stuff. If I were to, I'd go out of business. Please consider purchasing something instead. Check out what I have to offer over the shelf. Yeah, you can't sell things at this particular shop. Which is an interesting decision. Um, like, usually in these sorts of games, you can sell things at any shop and it just works. But this particular one, for some reason, you can't sell items to this bug. Ugh, this guy. Well, what's wrong with him? You won't buy our stuff beyond rude. V, you do know that the shopkeepers have no obligation to buy our items, right? This is a plentiful area. They are probably overstocked more than anything else. Whatever. I'll go sell to the caravan. They know a good deal when they see it. Poor caravan. <laughs> I try to make it to each festival. Even the classic leaf salad become, become more exciting with cut skilled hands. So this is Cut. Uh, he is the second of the chefs we will be meeting in the game. Um, I believe there are four total, but we only get to cook things with three of them. They mostly cook all the same items, so it doesn't matter too much. Uh, we'll see a couple of side quests that depend on going to a certain chef, but not for a while. Anyway, Cut is quite the skilled chef. But his attitude sucks. Normally we'd avoid him out of principle, but... His food is actually a grade higher than Fry's. I'm inclined to agree, regrettably. Yeah, you know how it is. If you're really good, you can act however you want. Let's make sure to get some good festival food, at least. So yeah, he does exactly the same stuff. You just, you just cook the same sorts of things. Um. Doo -doo -doo. And yeah, each of the chefs has their own music, which is why it changes when you go inside. Which is nice. Uh, doo -doo. We will be going over there, but we're going to have a bit of a look around first. Feel free to take a seat, there's a show going on. Oh, we already read this, I'll just skip through it. Hmm. What's up? I was once told the bartender of this settlement was an energetic mantis lady. Suffice to say, this fellow cannot possibly be her. Who knows, maybe she quit or something. Have you all noticed how nosy we get sometimes? <laughs> a 
I think this is a quest board, but you can't use it until a bit later on. This bee is irritating. She keeps leading me on, but won't buy anything. She's the worst. I wouldn't take her money at all. Bee? Hmm. This place's stuff is pretty good, but it's just not bee kingdom quality, you know? Let's go have fun somewhere else. Hey, it's that merchant that hangs around town. He travels with the caravan, doesn't he? Seems to be striking a deal. It's more like he's trying to strike a deal. Really trying. V, you seem to have some beef with this bug. Annoying, arrogant, smug, she's everything I hate about the bee kingdom. You're acting like all bees are like this. What about you? I'm an exception. End of story. V. Uh, I don't think we can get through here. Oh no, we can. Okay. Uh, I don't know uh, what melody to sing that to, but yeah. The light reflected in your eyes. Oh dear. The favor is giving a live concert. Everyone, you mustn't interrupt. Those three. Hmm. Go away. <laughs> Motheva? Motheva? I think Motheva. It's like Diva with Moth, so Motheva. Wow, it's Motheva! She is super popular! Even I have heard of her from my homeland. It is such an honor to be, even be near her. What exactly makes her so special? She's explorer by day, performer by night. Hmm, most bugs struggle being successful, but it comes easily to her. We'll give her music a try sometime, maybe? Who's hiding behind this bush, though? Shh, shh, he will hear us! Uh, we can't talk to him just yet. I know who it is, but we can't talk to him, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail. <laughs> you found a law book! It's hiding back there. Welcome to the Sunset Inn. Unfortunately, we are booked full due to the festival. I apologize for the inconvenience. Yeah, we can't stay at the inn right now, because it's full. What a happy innkeeper. It really makes you want to stay, doesn't it? Makes me wonder how she's not bored. The view from the balcony is really good. It soothes the soul a bit, I think. Huh, I didn't know ladybugs could have orange wings. Yeah, we didn't know bees could be explorers either. It, 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 it's a joke. It better be. <laughs> this inn's incredible. It was worth the trip all by itself. Oh, it's nice to see Bub again. Again? Well, yes, I ran into him back in the Lost Sands and we had some nice talks. Nothing too out of the ordinary, but back then it was nice to be able to chat. Well, don't let us stop you from saying hi or anything. Just don't take too long. We will be going to the Lost Sands later. Just, you know, look forward to that. <laughs> Incredible. The view from this balcony is breathtaking. Yeah, it's the best thing about Sunset Inn. Totally worth the price. It's alright. The Venus statue is really well made, don't you think? I think it's a bit creepy. It doesn't have a face or anything. V, no one has seen the goddess Venus. It would be sacrilegious to paint her face. Say, Kabu, you're not a worshipper or anything, are you? Not quite. I just like being well informed of the places I visit. I bet you went into the palace library to read all about this place, didn't you? M maybe. Cute. Hmm. Let's go back to enjoying the view. I really like these characters. <laughs> uh, anyway, that was a discovery. Uh, if we look in our logbooks. Uh, it's here somewhere. There it is. The goddess of statue. So we did need to do that for completion. As well as just because it's cute and enjoyable. Let's wander this way. Some chompers waltzed on down from the hills recently. I threw some numb mail darts at them, but they didn't do nothing. No problem. Who needs sedatives when you've got ice? Yeah, ice is good against plants. So, yeah. All moths look so different from each other. Indeed, Leaf, using your wings as a robe is quite unique. 
Well, father did it all the time. We ended up copying him. I see. Your father must have looked very cool too. You could start a fad. Eh, it'd be no fun if everyone did it. I like this game. <laughs> uh, here, there's, there's a diary on the desk. Read it? Yeah. Day X. I'm not sure if I believe in the story about Venus. I've always heard of her, but I've never seen her. Maybe this is nothing but superstition, but I feel I must follow my mother's footsteps. Continue reading? Yeah, sure. Day XY. What have years of training been for? I still don't believe in Venus, even if the village does. And they say I'll be the next priestess? If I left the hills, maybe I could find a new purpose. Even so, I feel something calling to me from the top of the hills. If nothing there convinces me, I'll take my leave. Can you read? Yes. Day XXY. I saw her. Venus. She truly does exist. And she is so beautiful. I am not worthy of being her servant after so many years full of doubt. Mother, as the new priestess, I shall spread the goodwill of Venus to all. I hope one day I feel deserving of having met her. Oh, that's sweet. We'll, we'll meet the character who wrote that shortly. Can't wait for the festival to start. My friend's coming over. She's so... bee-ish. It's not like she does it on purpose. Nature loves to play tricks with our eyes, though it sure enjoys the bee aesthetic. Do -do 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 -do. So bugs do live here. I was wondering where they stayed. Well, it's no hive, but these are pretty cozy. I wouldn't mind a longer stay when we find all the artifacts. Yeah, it looks nice. I like the little falling leaves thing in, that you see in this area. It's pretty. Do -do 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 There's also over here we can go have a look at. I don't want to miss anything, so we're just going to look at everything. <laughs> Hello. The tech in this settlement is mesmerizing. Thank you all. I wouldn't have made it here without your help. We would do it all over again, Neo. Aww. Vi. Oh, sorry, V. Leave. Thank you. What for? For helping me protect Neo, I am very glad to see him safe. Oh, I forgot to ask Neo for a reward. I... I was kidding. Just kidding, okay? <laughs> yeah, I think Kavu and Neo have feelings for each other. It's very sweet. Uh, there's a little berry garden here. It's pretty adorable. Hello. The harvest this festival has been amazing. Thank you so much, Venus. Venus seems to be held in high regard, even by the workers. There's no real proof of her existence, but the land is prosperous without fail. Blind faith. It must be nice being able to live so carefree. Did they already tell the area? It's the farms! It's so cool to see everything firsthand. Indeed, the big tree overseeing it is quite the spectacle too. I didn't take you for an agriculture enthusiast, V. I'm not, but I sure like food. They work hard to make it easy for us. You okay there, V? What? Can't I ever be grateful for anything? Whew, having to work during the festival is something else. I can't wait to be done. Must be rough picking up berries all day. Ants are extremely strong, are we right? Indeed, objects even I would find heavy are quite manageable for them. Then this job must be like child's play to them. This went from worst job to best job pretty quick. If you're an ant, at least. Hello. The, the kosher nails are so cute. Kosher nails? Co 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 nails? I don't know. Kosher nails are so cute. The aphids don't fall behind. Oh, the aphid farms. It's a joy to be here. This girl has the right idea. They're really cute, aren't they? Shame we can't own one. We can always get an adorable pill bug. Team Snake Mouth's mascot. No! <laughs> hey, feel free to look around, but don't make too much of a fuss. It's the last shift before the festival, so we've got to be efficient. I don't mean to judge, but is this ant doing anything? Management must have some value, don't you think? Standing around all day, giving orders? Maybe I should be a manager. Those poor workers. <laughs> I like this game. 
Also, yeah, look at those cute aphids and crochet eels and stuff. There they are, look how adorable they are. <laughs> Aphy! This cute aphid, did it escape the farm? <laughs> Seems to be giving this guard some company. Hmm, I'm sure it's fine. We are grateful to be able to see it up close. Honey factory power plant ahead. Only authorized bugs allowed. Yeah, we're not, we're not authorized. We can't go in there. The power plant is strictly off limits. Stay clear of it and of Afy. Hmm, a lone bee guarding a huge door. Well, she's not truly alone. That aphid is keeping her good company. It's truly adorable. Maybe we'll pet it. Wow, that's a super death glare she gave you, Leaf. Guess we'll settle for watching from afar. <laughs> uh, I think I've spoken to everyone over here now. Um, yeah, I guess I'll progress to the next part of the, of the actual gameplay now. Let's go. <laughs> didn't, made, wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything in the settlement before we continued. Anyway, now we want to go up here. Seriously, Arya, open the way! The way to the hills is sacred. I will not sully it for any reason. Please, won't you reconsider? The wasps could beat us to the punch. They tried. They failed. I will not waver in my conviction. They... failed? I dealt with them, yes. <sighs> as rushed as we may be, if there's no danger, I don't think we'll manage to skip the festivities. Bummer. Guess we'll have to relax for once. The way to the hills will open after the festivities are concluded. Not sooner, not later. You must wait. That's that, huh? You heard her. Relaxing is the mission. That goes double for you, Leaf. Let's check this place out. Alright, alright. The main event starts at night time. Let's talk to Aria when we're ready. Intel states the artifact may lie at the top of the Golden Hills, although the way only opens the day after the festival. We have little choice but to wait. I'll be glad to relax with you, comrades. Levi is formidable. I do have a question, though. Ladybugs have been very supervised after that incident. Levi, however, seems free to move about. That incident? Isn't it just because of Celia? She's probably keeping an eye on him. They seem to be friends. You believe she's merely the Queen's informant? We have no way to know unless we ask them. I'd really prefer to just get the job done, but... We have to respect the traditions of other kingdoms, I guess. We really owe Celia. She was a big help against the wasps. Eh, yeah, they weren't that tough. We would have been fine. That's easy to say when they did half the work. Doo -doo -doo -doo. An acolyte, huh? It's so unusual to see someone so deep into their faith. Well, of all places, the Golden Settlement worships a very specific goddess. And it's worked out pretty good for them. Indeed, it's not too uncommon to see devout followers around. Every place is a different culture, huh? Oh, are you here for the festival? It should start as soon as the sun sets. Yeah, let's wait for nightfall. The Golden Festival has begun. O oh, Goddess Venus, who watches over us and ensures a bountiful harvest without fault. We congregate to share our gratitude. May it reach your roots and bring you joy. And when the two offerings held by our esteemed guest hosts are brought to me, the final ceremony will begin. Now feast, laugh, all in good faith. Let's make this one more festival to never forget. Well, she's passionate. Thank you, Venus, for watching over us. Kabu, you're praying too? Eh, I felt the need. We should be respectful of their tradition. Didn't you hear? Feast and laugh. Now that's a way to show respect. We should probably gather the two offerings. They sounded pretty important. Let's look for them as soon as the festivi as the festivities ensue. They may help us complete our mission. Uh, right, the mission. Yup, I'm on it. Okay. Uh, no way we're leaving. This finally got interesting. Yeah, we can't leave the settlement while the festival's going on, which makes sense, I guess. The town show got lively real quick. That's because the festival is awesome. We won't get to enjoy a night like this often. Let's make some nice team memories. Let's chuck down a save. There are a lot of people around we can talk to because there's a festival on. Hello. 
Stop worrying, I'm gonna be fine, no matter how much juice I, br I drink. That won't end well. We really- oh, I've already read this one. That's Celia. <laughs> mm, here's Levi. Hello, Levi. Friend, if you keep drinking so much berry juice, your skills will be compromised. Although it's hard to stop when its flavor is so amazing. Something new to say, Neo? Hey everyone, I've heard only Acolyte Aria can perform the ritual ceremony. I can't wait to study it. Uh, that's the same title as before. I just, I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, I'm so not a party enthusiast. But I've heard the ceremony involves glorious combat. It gets me so pumped and ready for violence. <laughs> that's some admirable neck fluff. Must be so comfortable falling asleep with it around the neck. It's so impractical. My fluff is way better. Don't get jealous, V. I'll never be jealous of any other bee. So bitter. I mean, that is some pretty cute neck fluff. Look at that. <laughs> Hello. Wow, that bee's such a looker. This fellow lives in the Ant Kingdom, does he not? Dunno. Sweet hat, though. Yeah, we'll be seeing this fellow later when we go back to the Ant Kingdom. Yay, it's my first festival! Everything looks so awesome! You know, I was about her age when I came to my first festival. Everything was so much cooler than the boring Bee Kingdom. You really made me want to see the world. We haven't given you enough credit, V. Even you can get quite pensive. Let's just enjoy the festival, okay? Is the shop still open? Hello, welcome to the Golden Emporium, blah blah blah. Yes, they're still open. Okay, I wasn't sure. But they are open during the festival, it seems. Hey, you're Team Snake Mouth, aren't you? That's us. Nice, we're fellow explorers too. Ever heard of us? Given what I've heard, are you Stratos and Delilah? Yep, that's us. I'm Delilah, and this big guy's Stratos. Mmm, nice meeting ya. You're known as Team Slacker, correct? Famous for never finishing missions? Not even one? No mission's interesting for long enough, why bother finishing them? And you still call yourselves explorers? Of course, we love exploring, no place is out of reach. Nice. We're more like informants, yeet? For the other explorers. We gather intelligence about tough quests so other teams can do them. Nice deal, ain't it? We're looking into the fabled sand castle in the corners of the Lost Sands. After the festival we'll resume our search, this will be a good time to unwind. Looks like Slacker ain't quite the name for them. They'll live in the dream! So that's how things were. Let's meet again on the road, yeah? Maybe we'll meet at the desert. Mm-hmm. Hmm. What's up, Kabu? I may have been too quick to judge them. You're still on about that? Just because they aren't what I see in an explorer doesn't invalidate their work. If you feel that bad, just go apologize again. Very well, I will face my sins. He did it! Uh, is it the same towel regardless of who I talk to? Yep. Huh. I didn't realize you could just hold B to go really fast. <laughs> cool. That's helpful. Uh, this is the fellow who was hiding behind- like, hiding in the corner earlier, next to Moth- Moth- Moth Eva. If it ain't Team Snake Mouth, I'm Zasp, part of the Explorers Association. Z- Zosp? Zasp? Well, he's, he's a wasp. So, so, it'd be Zosp. <laughs> but, but that sounds silly. I've heard of your expedition. <laughs> really? We did super well, didn't we? Did you now? Heard you got pulled out of a river half dead. Pretty embarrassing if you ask me. Oof. We already dislike you. You got a problem, Wasp? It's Zasp. And no, I'm too busy to be petty. I'm here to represent my team in the eating competition. The winner gets an offering, so it is my aim to win. I just wanted to relax a little before it is all. You must say you're going to lose, Zasp. Horribly. In an eating competition, we won't be bested. Ha 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 ha, try your luck. I'll see you in the ring. Uh, you better beat him, Leaf. We'll show him embarrassing. Can't we just get along? Do, 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 
Phew, it sure was a day of hard work. Couldn't move the rock. But tomorrow is a new day and I will try again. Uh, that's the same as before. Yeah, just wanted to make sure. What a fascinating, adorable creature. Madame's got to be the only merchant taking a break. Hey, everybody needs a holiday. Yeah, that's Madame Butterfly. We met her back in the Ant Kingdom. Uh, so presumably her shop's not working right now, but we can't go there anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh, did I talk to you? Yeah, I already read that one. Uh, hello. <laughs> I won't lose. Wonder what game they're playing. I do not know, but it is intense. She just summons another monster. What a combination. Off we go. A fitting stage for a jewel of this caliber. Uh, we already read that. Um, so... Don't forget about this. <laughs> this dude's got style. He is very accessorized. Must be a Bee Kingdom regular. Bees don't really make hats, though. Maybe the glasses? Hmm, fashion built from many cultures, then? We must be exploring around, too. Ah, uh, I read that already. And talk to him. This festival brings everyone together. For a night, we live in true peace. To be honest, I'm still searching for a place I can live peacefully in. Maybe we'll meet again. You seem like you know where you're going. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be meeting this guy in a bunch of different towns as we progress through the game. And eventually, he'll decide where he wants to live. But it takes a little while. Uh, I read this one already. Hello, Mothiva. Oh ho ho ho! I deserve only the best food after such a show! Oh dear, Mothiva's having dinner. We shouldn't interrupt. Those three. <laughs> wow, it's Mothiva. We read this already? Yeah. Hey, watch it! I know everyone wants to see Mothiva, but no pushing! Must be tough having to work as Mothiva's guard. Everyone wants their autograph. We're lucky there's an exploration team. We can have access. Yay! <laughs> Hello! Wow, the moon shines with a splendid light. Is this because of Venus? I've seen so many wonderful things on this journey, haven't I, Nero? What a warm glow. I've never seen anything like this. Could she be one of the ten sorcerers? Nah, it's a firefly. She's told me some bugs and, bugs and other regions glow in the dark and stuff. Ice magic sucks. We want to glow in the dark. For the sake of our missions, please keep the ice magic. <laughs> yeah, she's a firefly. Um, she's adorable. Nibu. Uh, that's the same tattle. I thought it might be something different if we, if we tattled Nero, but nope, it's the same. There's nobody. Oh, there's some people in here. Hello. Everyone's busy at the festivities, so I don't have much I can offer besides some basic services. What are you interested in? I can sell to you? Uh, what are you selling that I can buy? Spicy berry, num nail dart, magic seed. I mean, those are good things, but I'm not interested. Hmm, maybe someone else will do this business with me. Hey, it's that merchant hangs around town. He travels with the caravan, doesn't he? Although he seems to be alone. He's probably the lone agent of the team. You found a Mothiva doll. A doll of Mothiva, the superstar. Maybe someone lost it? Yep, that's a side quest. <laughs> Hello. I wish I could join the festival, but I have to stay open. <sighs> Uh, I read that already. Okay. Hello. It's time for the festivities. No one's going to be sleeping tonight, I bet. What a happy innkeeper. Uh, I read that one already. Yeah. And uh, there's nobody in here. You can get a nice view from here if we like. A nice view of Venus's statue. Uh, so, we're, we're coming up on about a half hour, we won't actually do the offering stuff in this video, we'll do that next time. 
I just wanted to, you know, basically explore this village and make sure we don't miss anything interesting. <sighs> Did they really think these two would do anything? I want to enjoy the festival too. Having guards around watching the ladybugs fouls the mood a bit. Why... why exactly do they need supervision? I think it had to do with them stealing a bunch of stuff. I'm not too sure though. I remember seeing a book about this. It'd be good if we could research more. Yeah, we have no choice but to catch up with history. Uh, some of the lore books talk about this. Um, I don't super remember what the details are, but yeah, ladybugs are sort of racistly considered to be criminals. <laughs> um, it, it lets up later in the game, thankfully. I kind of miss visiting the farms, but I guess there's nothing to be done about it. Oh, it's, uh, I read that one already. It's always nice to catch the festival, the food is always great. Huh, uh, I read that one already. Okay, um, so all of the like offering quests are actually over there, so we'll be heading over there shortly. Um, but for the, that's about it for this video, we've, you know, talked to a bunch of people, and that's pretty much what I was planning to do with this video, so, yay! <laughs> yeah, next time we're gonna actually do, like, the gameplay relevant parts of the festival, and then we're gonna progress with the game from there. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, bye!